What's going on, everybody? It's Brett. I wanted to uh, share a recent trip that I took out to Button Willow. Uh, this was actually the first time I got to put my uh, new Porsche on track uh, and wanted to be able to share it with you guys. This is also the first time I've been able to run uh, my new Catalyst, uh, which again is basically a, a video overlay with recording. Uh, it shows a ton of great stuff you can see on here with speed, lap time, um g4s but but really it, it helps to kind of show you where your best laps are and where you can improve uh and so like i said i've been having a blast with it so i wanted to kind of show two different laps uh so we'll show actually my my first lap lap one on here so we can kind of see the roughest of of how it runs uh and then a lap from later on in the day uh, so we can see the difference and it's about a six second difference so there are definitely people that have uh that could run this track a lot faster than me uh like i said for myself um this is a uh we can see my uh 911 gts so this is a 2016 911 gts so last of the naturally aspirated we can see how fast i'm going here because of that blurriness in the background um but like i said i picked this up in january so like i said still a newer vehicle for me previous to this i was driving a 2017 c7 grand sport uh so again totally different feel going from a much larger heavier front engine car uh, into obviously a much smaller, uh, more nimble uh, rear engine vehicle. So uh, again, you know, I, I found you can see the difference between kind of the morning and the afternoon. A lot of that is actually me uh, learning how to trust the car. Uh, you know, instead of coming in and saying, okay, I got the extra torque in the vet, uh, you know, hammer on the gas, hammer on the brake. Uh, you know, what I'm finding on here is maybe if I just let off the gas just a little bit, this car can actually handle those corners beautifully. Uh, and so again, we're going to take a look and see what some of the differences are between here. I won't chat too much through this. Uh, again, obviously when you're, when you're on track, you have to have the windows down. So there's a little bit of, uh, wind noise that, uh, sometimes overrides the, uh, the beautiful sound of the engine in there. Um, but, uh, but like I said, we'll kind of run through this. I won't do too much, but a little color commentary in here. Uh, so if you haven't driven button willow, you can actually see, uh, some of the areas to pay attention to. So as we come off, this is the first straightaway in here. We're going to come around and we're going to see a little chicane in here. And you can see in the beginning, uh, I'm turning a little too much. So we can see a, a little extra sway in there. Uh, in the second lap, you see it's a little smoother and a little faster. Big sweeping corner coming around here. And as we come across, hey, we can see a little tornado down in that bottom right side over there. It was definitely a dusty, dirty day. Uh, when you first look at Button Willow, it just seems very flat. It doesn't seem as fun as, say, Laguna, where I, I you know, ride a little bit more often. But this really is a great, great track. And we can see here I'm missing a lot of the berms. Um, you know, I get better on that through the day. You can see in here the different routes. I uh, definitely have to pay attention if you haven't driven on track before. That can be a little scary sometimes in there. Uh, but you kind of learn that track after a, uh, a couple laps. There we go. There's a good berm ride. Left to right. Definitely the guys that were running faster. I ran passenger in a couple rides. They're the guys that use the whole track. So you definitely, if you want to take those seconds off, it's not about horsepower. Uh, it is definitely learning how to drive that track. This corner caught me a couple times. You can hear as my back end slides out a little bit there and how much I let off the gas and broke into there. And then as you come around through the straightaway, a 
Okay, so this time we're gonna actually pop up that first lap in the picture in picture so we can actually kind of compare the two. Now, obviously uh, I end up going faster in the one and moving forward because I'm six seconds faster in it. Uh, but again, we can kind of see just the general flow uh, between the two laps here. So let's go ahead and... And there you go. So you can see about a five to six second difference between the two. And it really comes down to, uh, for me, trusting the car more. Uh, so learning to, uh, you know, maybe not break quite so much in there. Uh, using obviously a little bit more of the track. So still have a lot to go in there. I, uh, you know, trying to go berm to berm. Uh, but like I said, definitely using the track and, uh, you know, not breaking as hard, just letting a little off the gas. Uh, and we can see the difference in there. So I've got a second one uh, coming up. Uh, I was on Thunder Hill last week. So I'll get some of those videos done uh, as well as probably a review of the Catalyst since people are always asking me how that overlay works. So thanks everybody for watching and I will catch you next time.